Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. This time we're going to take a look at the end of the verse, okay? And the chords we're going to need for that will be an E minor chord, followed by an A chord, followed by a D chord. Okay? So an E minor, followed by an A, followed by a D chord. Now, if you happen to have a B minor chord, you've got that far and you have a B minor chord like this in your chord vocabulary, then we're gonna show you where we're gonna use that instead as well. So a slightly more advanced way of looking at that. Okay, so let's look at the order of the chords again. E minor, A major, and D. Okay, and basically this repeats twice. So what we get is we get E minor, two, three, four, A. One, two, D, three, four. Okay, so that first pass is one, two, three, four, A. One, two, three, four. Then we come back to E minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that's gonna repeat again. So let's go back over that slowly. E minor. One, two, three, four, A. One, two, D, three, four, E minor. Two, three, four, and A. Let it ring. Two, three. Then we repeat E minor. One, two, three, four. A major. One, two. Now B minor for the three, four. Put it there instead of the D. Okay. So if we didn't ha if we didn't have this B minor, we just go to D again. One, two, three, four. A major. One, two, and three, four. Same as before. This is where the D, this is where the B minor chord, chord would go if you know it. Okay, so let me play it twice through. We're going to play the first time through just using the D chord, in which case the whole pattern repeats two times. So we end up with this: one, two, three, four, A, D, three, four, E minor, one, two, three. Change to A and let it ring. One, two, three. Then we repeat the whole thing again: E minor, two, three. A, three, four, D, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, and A, two, three, four. Okay, now let's look at it with the B minor chord. The first part will be the same. Here we go. E minor, one, two, three, A, three, four, change to D, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, A major, Two, three, four, E minor. One, two, three, A major. One, now the B minor. Three, four, E minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so whichever way you want to go, they'll both work. The E minor is, is close to what actually happens, but D will work if you're working towards the B minor chord later on. So at the end of this phrase, we then go straight back to Another verse, starting with our motif from video one. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And around we go again. So I'll uh, see you on lesson three. Feel free again, pause this any time as far as you want to go. Just work it up to speed and uh, have fun with it. And I'll see you in lesson three. Thanks so much, bye-bye.